Hey, what's up guys? This is Craig Caperso, and today I'm taking you through the ultimate back workout. It's gonna have the perfect combination of power, strength, and endurance in a blend where I'm taking you through different rep ranges in the beginning. We're gonna warm you up, getting you into some Tabatas, then we're gonna take you through some five by fives, four by tens, three by fifteens, and then smoke you at the end with some more endurance. So today, get ready to work. workouts should be high pace and tempo. When we talk about ultimate, it's gonna be basically going at what the pace that you can set. We're in and out in under an hour, let's go. All right, so the first exercise here is gonna be a seated cable row, but it's gonna be exaggerated. So exaggerated meaning I'm just warming you up dynamically. I'm gonna take you a little bit further than you would in a strict seated cable row. But also something to note here, our pre-exhaust is gonna be at Tabata timing. What we're doing is we're gonna take a load. It's about 70% of your 15 rep max, and how do you determine that? You're basically gonna think about something you could do for 20 to 25 reps. All right, so talking about the exaggeration of the seated cable roll, I'm just talking about maybe starting close to near the starting point where the cable would actually leave the rack and ending a little bit further than you would on the, on the reverse when you're perpendicular. When we're exaggerating this movement, don't get sloppy. You really wanna keep your form and keep the arch back on the way down. You don't wanna let your shoulders go. We are trying to get a stretch and you are trying to get yourself warmed up, but this is our way of just say, doing it dynamic. Keep your posture, keep the form, make sure you're not getting injured. All right, the next exercise here is gonna be a deadlift. We're gonna do that five by five, so five sets, five reps. We're gonna take this into our power and strength phase. It's a combination, good, good rep range between the two. As you're warming up, you don't just throw you know, as much as you could do on the bar, but you're gonna warm up, and so I'm progressively giving you a chance to hit your 100% five rep max by your third set, and make sure you take it to failure. We're gonna start at the beginning of our workouts because we have a lot of energy, we haven't been fatigued, we still have a lot of oxygen flowing through our body, we're not consumed by exhaustion. So right now we wanna push max effort. So here's a form tip. We are lifting pretty heavy on this deadlift, so make sure that you're planting your heels into the ground, you're arched back, you're not rounding out. You wanna have your butt sink down, so in the bottom, everything's out. There's no slack in the arms. They should be straight down by your side, pulling the bar, head up, looking straight up. So if we're right in the middle of our set and our form starts to break, you gotta end the set. There's something I wanna do is perform caution over you know, stupidity. A lot of people will just pull, their back will start rounding out. That's when you're gonna get injured. Make sure you're performing precautions. When your form breaks, the set's over. Adjust the weight. All right, so the next exercise here is gonna be a four by 10 set. We're doing seated cable neutral grip pull downs. These are gonna be a funny little exercise right after those deadlifts because we're from pulling from the floor, now we're gonna pull down. But the cool part about this exercise is gonna be time under tension. So as you're pulling down those 10 reps that you're gonna give me, on the bottom, we're gonna start counting eight seconds on the way up, so time under tension. So pull down and then you count up. One, two, all the way to eight seconds and then do another rep. Don't last at the top, don't wait on the top. Once that eight seconds is up, pull yourself back down. Continue to keep the form. I don't want you swinging. I want you pretty much up and down, perpendicular to the floor, arched back, pulled down. You should feel it in your lats, you should feel it in your arms, you should feel it in your grip. If you have wraps, I would say put them on because you're gonna need them in this exercise. What I don't wanna do is have my form fail because my hands gave up. All right, so we get into a three by 15 with our T-bar rows. I decided to put T-bar rows in dead smack in the middle of this workout just because it's a taxing exercise. It's gonna take you through some fatigue. We're gonna give you two warm up sets. So on your third one, you better not hit 16, you better not hit 17, you better fail at 15. It's gonna be similar to the deadlifts. Our knees are bent, our heels are screwed into the floor, our butts are coming low, we're arched in our back. Make sure you're practicing good form. When it breaks, the set ends. It's just, that's it guys. We can't practice getting hurt going through these exercises. So we're getting into the 15 rep range because we're getting away from that power and strength and getting more into our endurance. And this is the part where it's gonna be taxing, mental fortitude, you're gonna need the energy, you're gonna need the effort, you're gonna need the mental capacity to push these reps out. It's gonna be taxing. This is the ultimate workout. Let's just call it what it is. We're getting into the Tabata prone incline reverse fly. Tabata, guys, is 20 seconds on by 10 seconds rest, repeated eight times. So it's gonna be a four minute circuit. What we're really trying to focus on again is moving for 20 seconds and resting for 10. Now we're getting to a little bit more isolation. We started off with some big power compound movements where we're moving multiple joints, multiple angles in our body. Now we're isolating a specific segment. What this is gonna do is gonna tax your body, bring the intensity up. It's gonna help you burn a little bit of calories during this workout. And it's gonna help you if you do the right exercise, isolate. Isolate and burn. That muscle should be on fire by the time you're done with this.
We're finishing up with Tabata, standing, isolated, lats. At this point, we're gonna do straight arm cable push down. So what we're really trying to focus on right now is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, really mind muscle connection. Adjust the weights. I want your lats on fire. I want you squeezing that rep out. I don't want you just pumping it through. You got 20 seconds on of work, 10 seconds of rest. That's how it's done. Eight sets, four minutes, let's do this. Lats last usually are a good isolation. I mean, we're using them pretty much the whole workout, but they don't always get directly targeted. Doing a lat press down at the end is gonna help you focus on that specific movement. It's a really good exercise. You could hit some mind-muscle connection. I know we're not trying to pause at the bottom completely, but you do certainly do wanna you know, squeeze that muscle out every single time you come down. So again, this is the ultimate workout. We're taking you through a lot of different rep ranges, and then it's gonna burn. It's gonna fatigue you. You're gonna be tired at the end of this thing. The full breakdown is gonna be below this video. Just make sure to scroll down at bodybuilding.com. So like I said, I'm Craig Caperso on social media, everywhere at Craig Caperso. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. For more free videos and articles from athletes like me, make sure to come back to bodybuilding.com.